Alfred Adult Beginner, Level 1, page 12, The Grand Staff. So piano is written on what is called the Grand Staff. It has the treble clef, that cool little symbol indicating right hand or up here. And then we have the bass clef, which is not as cool looking as far as I'm concerned, uh, which basically <clears throat> kind of goes this way. So it kind of splits the keyboard in half. So when you look at piano music, you'll notice that the treble clef is on top of the bass clef. And those notes are typically played with the right hand unless indicated otherwise. The bass clef will be played with the left hand. So let's find our positions for playing on the grand staff. If we look below, it starts off with the treble clef. The notes are on the treble clef. It says one finger on middle C. Middle C can always be indicated by that line through the note. And the note is actually in the middle in between the treble and the bass clef. That's another way you can remember it's middle C. So it says one finger. I'm going to put my one finger on middle C, find the two black keys, put your one finger there, and now it's in position. Left hand will be in the bass clef, and we're also going to be starting with our fifth finger on bass C, like this. I'm going to play through this piece, and then we'll talk a few more details, and that'll be it. Let's listen. So you'll notice on the second measure of the beginning of the song, there was a half note I had to hold for two beats. And on the fourth measure, there was also a half note at the end. Same with the left hand, there were two half notes. So make sure you hold those for two beats. At the end of the song, there are these two dots on the last measure. Those two dots are double dots, meaning the repeat of the song. So when you get there, you're supposed to play it again when you see that. Also, we're being introduced with the whole rest. And the whole rest symbol, as you can see on the page, it looks like this little black bar that's been notched in to where we're not playing on the left hand. So they're just saying you're resting with the left hand while the right hand plays that sequence. And in the bar below, the left hand will be playing and the right hand is resting. We're also learning the time signature in this piece. The time signature are two numbers telling you how many beats are in each measure or each section of music. And the bottom number tells us what note gets one beat. And in this case, the four indicates that the quarter note gets one beat. Time signatures will change as you advance through music, but this is the most basic or common time signature in music. Good luck with the grand staff, and we'll see you for the next video.